from Rexville, Broadview. All right, here we go. We've got our, we've got another St. Ed's wrestler here this time. It is Nick Solzer. Solzer, top 10 wrestler in the country here at 160. Solzer undefeated here. 39 and 0. Iron Man champion. Has a tech fall of fallen in decision so far. He's wrestling Josh Linden of Brexville Broadview Heights. Just shoots a... Trucks through on a double, now trying to finish and cradle. This might be over quick. As Solzer's got a cradle, looks flat to me. Has at least three coming now, trying to work for more. Ed, the team points would be huge here. Ed's trails by three. This is their last wrestler. He's got another cradle. There's your fall! In 31 seconds. Nick Solzer sticks Josh Linden. And the Ed's coaches <laughs> talk about making sure it works. Solzer's laughing, gets a hug. Now we've got some time to kill here over on that one is Solzer. 31 second fall, our first fall of the night here in Division One. Just jackhammer, double cradle, and then it's over. Another state championship for St. Ed's. Give you a little reset on the team score. See if you can spin around and zoom in. Ah, we've got a cameraman's head in the way, so never mind. Ed's now is going to take a take a one point lead, I believe. Wadsworth still has their big three to wrestle at 89, 215, and heavyweight. Wadsworth has finalists. St. Ed's, on the other hand, is done now. That sudden victory lost by Greg Kuhar yesterday. At 285, the Billy Vaughn is looming large as Ed's could use the extra finalist. But they now have put up all the points they're going to. And there needs to be an 0 for 3 finish for Wadsworth for Ed's to win the team title. And I think Wadsworth probably is the favorite in all three bouts. 